looking for uh, Nick Hartley's apartment. I guess I missed him. Ended up in the book warehouse. What is going on here? I got my books. All right. Now, you know what I'm going to do with them? What? I am going to embarrass the entire publishing world. I am going to sell every single last one of them. Can I buy the first copy? Please? You can have the first copy. <laughs> Capwell? Madeline? I'm dead! Just to let you do! Courtney! Daddy! Hi! Let me look at you. Oh, you look great. Hey. Hi, cuz. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Eastern Capwells have arrived, and just in the nick of time, I understand. Ted, is it really true? Huh. Is the black sheep of the West finally getting shorn? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait! I love Capwell weddings. Yeah. But Mason, a black sheep, no, I always thought of him as an odd duck. Uh, is he still as nasty as he used to be? Uh, well, to tell you the truth, I think he's gotten worse. Is that possible? The mind real? Oh, I'm glad. He's so much fun. Aha! Yes. Uh -huh. Traveling light, I see. Are you two just visiting or are you moving in? Oh, I'm so pleased to Courtney, how are you? Good. Madeline, how are you? Well, we're sorry about all this stuff, but we came straight from Hong Kong. Yes, mm. my husband's still there. He's working on some factory negotiations, I think. Oh, the garment business, that wonderful garment business. Your husband is an entrepreneur. He uh, always comes up with something, doesn't he? You see, you look so well. And here we were... Well, well, we were thinking of you as an invalid. Oh, <laughs> really? Well, Cece, I can't wait to see everybody else. Where are they? Well, now, wait a minute. If you guys have given us an exact date of arrival, we would have all been able to meet you with a big brass band. I'm sorry, but... I'm sorry. That was... Courtney was supposed to take care of that, but she just couldn't get it together for you. Hey, hey somebody come here, quick! Uh, Mason's under the... The fell down and I can't open the window. He's stuck up there. You've got to help. Oh, no, Mommy. Look, this is a present from Mason to help me get ready. How is this, Mrs. Andrade? Oh, yes. Yes, that's nice. Thank you very much. So, Mama, what do you think? What do I think? I think I'll help you get ready. Please, just go, both of you. Now. Thank you both very much. You were wonderful. You really were. Yes, thank you very much. I'll take care of my daughter now. I've never seen anything so ridiculous. Really, there must be a screw loose in your head. Mama, sometime. a little makeup is going to be... nothing. I mean, the whole thing is ridiculous. Now, don't you start in with me. Yes, I will, and you listen. Santana, I know you think you have no other choice, but... You don't know what you're talking about. I do have another choice. Or at least I did until now. What are you saying to me? I don't understand. No, you wouldn't understand. How can you say that, Santana? Of course I would. You must tell me whatever's happened. Mama, Cruz asked me to marry him. This is wonderful. I turned him down. Why? I don't have a future with Cruz. He doesn't love me. He'll never love me. He loves Eden. Eden is married. Married? That doesn't matter. What matters is what's in the man's heart. And what's in his heart is Eden. Now with Mason. Mason. Ya basta on Mason. You don't love Mason. He doesn't Mama. love you. Don't worry, Rosa. I haven't given up yet.
I don't know what you're all staring at. I haven't got to play. It's just a cop and cold. Well, I think a shot of brandy might do the job. Get you back on your feet, Mason. Gee, thanks, Dad. Once you're back on your feet, you can take your feet right out the door. Uh, I'll get you the brandy, Mason. I suppose that means you won't be coming to the wedding. That's quite perceptive of you, Mason. I've called you many things, but never stupid, never. Well, thanks for the compliment, Dad. I have to take him any way I can get him. Here's Betty. Oh, demon alcohol. No, Ted, let it be hereby known that as of this morning, Mason Capwell will never touch nor drink alcohol again. All right, well, that sounds like a good resolution for your wedding day. <clears throat> about that wedding, Mason, we want to hear all about it. The atmosphere around here seems a lot more like a funeral. Well, Madeline, I think you're getting the spirit of the thing. Ted, what do you think about moving the wedding ceremony to the Capwell family plot? Think what a reception we could have dancing on the graves. Cute, Mason. I'd like to know who's marrying you. I mean, I really am interested in the type of person who would marry you. Santana Andrade. Santana? That name sounds familiar. Oh, <laughs> well, it should sound familiar. Connie, don't you remember? Santana's the maid, or, or she was the last time we stayed here. Oh, man, that horrible party for Channing. Santana, really? Santana... Andrade. Andrade. Andrade, that's right. You must roll your R's when you say it all the time now. Now, I wonder if they'll remember to put the accent over the A when they enter her name in the social register. Madeline. Mm, can't forget the Santa Barbara Society page. Madeline, chill out. Oh, would you? Oh, I wish you wouldn't use that awful slang you're picking up. Mason. Mason, whatever possessed you? Oh, no, don't tell me that there's... There's been an indiscretion which you feel you have to take responsibility for? Mm. Madeline Santana Andrade is twice. Now make that three times the woman you ever were or could ever hope to be. I consider myself very fortunate that you'll have me. A good deal more fortunate, I'm sure, than your husband ever felt. How dare you talk to me like that? No, how dare you? I think you're forgetting which coast you're on, Madeline. While you're on my turf, I'd suggest you watch that nasty little tug of yours. Unless you want you and your bags packed back east in a hurry. Speaking of bags, you know, a good surgeon could have a field day with what's under your eyes. Mason, I will bet that with inside one week, your little senora will slit your throat, and we all know she carries around the switchblade to do it. Pitiful try, Madeline. Ted, you're in charge of putting Humpty Dumpty back together for this wedding. See you later. Ladies. They're really nice, Nikki. Where are the jackets? One box of jackets, 38 boxes of books, totaling oh, a thousand. <laughs> all right, all right. Where's my 500? I never thought you'd ask. Come on. Here. Tell you what, last person that finishes these has to carry all of them to the car. Oh, the trooper. Yes. Oh, Nick, I'm so happy for you. And old Cruz, he came through with the money. You know, I knew he would. Yes, well, you know, the friends you know the longest often come through for you in a pinch. Well, it's not as if you haven't done anything for him over the years. Uh, yeah. What, is Cruz, wasn't it? Well, like you say, we do go back a long way. You know, once I get the covers on these books, I'm heading straight for the bookstores. I've got a, a list of every bookstore in Santa Barbara. You know, and that's only the beginning. I have got plans. I mean, I am talking major strategy major, for this. Major, like when you hit in the world? Tomorrow, Absolutely. Well, at least the West Coast. Ventura, uh, Ojai, and then Los Angeles. I've also compiled a list of every book reviewer in print. I'm going to send each and every one a copy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I almost... I forgot. What did you forget? It'll be a wedding. I've got a thousand things to do before noon, Nick. Come on, we can do this tomorrow. No, that's okay. I'll just stay here and do what I can by myself. No, you're going to go with me, aren't you? Oh, I don't know if I want to go. Nikki, come on, you said. I'm not sure that I want to leave you behind. You have the... to go with me. You are the big talker about weddings. You have to take notes anyway. So our wedding will be ten times better than theirs. Okay. I guess I can tear myself away. Thank you. All right, I'll be back.
I also have one stipulation. And what is that? That after this, it's understood between us that I owe you nothing. No sentimental obligations, no gratitude on either side. I think I'd better leave. No, no, I, I'd appreciate it if you stick around, actually. I uh, I think we should all know where we stand Bruce, here. Please. please, excuse me. Uh, humor me. Now, do you agree with me that this is a terrible mistake she's about to make? Yes. And do you know that I am ready, willing, and able to step in here and bail her out of this jam? Of course, Cruz. Okay, good. Now, let's talk sense. We're going to stop this crazy idea before it becomes Cruz, a reality. Stop no, it. don't, please, don't get me, Matt. We're friends, remember? Let's just be nice. Now, you told me that you don't think I can ever learn to love you the way you should be loved. Whatever that is, whatever it is, I know that I can. I care about you already, and I know that given time, my feelings will deepen. It'll probably happen sooner than either one of us expects. You don't think I've thought about this? I have been up all night thinking, I know what I'm doing. You may say this now, but what if you never learned to love me? How could I live in a marriage like that with you? And how can you think of marriage as something so terrible Cruz, as that? Cruz, will you just stop that? Even if I wanted to let you go, you would stay because of Brandon. Do you think that's my idea of happiness, watching you live a quiet life of misery with me? Santana, that would never I'm happen sorry. between I'm us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My answer is still no. A definite no, and I'm not going to change my mind. What is it to say about leading a horse to water? I'll see you at the wedding. If you're going to marry Mason Kappel, you'll have to do it alone. Mm -hmm. You can dress yourself alone as well. Now that I know you have a choice, a better choice, and you let it go. I'll have nothing to do with this wedding, Santana. Mama, please, don't go! It was stupid of me to come to Hawaii, to come all this way just to realize what I've always known. No matter what you said about ending it, Cruz, I know that there's no other choice. You're the man I've always loved, and I've got to be with you again. Hello, this is Eden Capwell, room 678. No, no, everything's fine. I've just decided I'm going to check out early. I'm going home. Yeah, I've just been feeling restless today. I thought I might uh, drop on by, see how things are coming along. Well, they're coming along all right, except for Mason. can't believe how obnoxious he was last night. You know, I felt for Santana. Me too. You don't look too happy. Well, you know, I'd like to be feeling happy if I could uh, find somebody to feel happy for, but I just can't seem to. Well, listen, I came to thank you for helping Nick out with the book. How's that? Well, for lending him the money. I mean, Cruz, I haven't seen him this happy in ages. Thank you so much. 
I uh, don't, I think you misunderstand. I, I didn't lend him the money. He asked me for a loan. I told him I just didn't have the cash right now. I mean, I would have helped, you know, if he can just wait until I sell my house, what? I can probably... No, Nick told me... Chris, listen, um, I'll talk to you later, okay? Well, I gotta... Well, no, wait a second, I... You know... Oh. you gotta let go of it. You gotta accept this. You have no other choice. Oh, and the grounds look just as beautiful as I remembered them, Madeline. Did you see the hibiscus and the poppies? Oh, you just can't grow those back home. Yeah, I would say the flowers are a lot friendlier than most of the people around here. Madeline, stop it. You're running people down every chance you get. Please, Madeline, try to remember what Daddy said. Daddy, Daddy said the family should get a lot closer. Well, quite frankly, I'd like to be closer to a family of weasels. Madeline, he wants us to make friends with the Western Capwells. And I don't think you're trying very hard. Courtney, Courtney, would you not believe everything Daddy says, okay? Madeline, what is going on? Nothing, nothing, nothing. You just go on being yourself. Oh, you're being cryptic now. I love it. <sighs> Cece looks fine, doesn't he? You know, I'll bet if he didn't come out of that coma, people around here would be a lot friendlier to each other, en route to the will reading. Uh-oh. <laughs> Madeline, here he comes. Oh, Uncle, <laughs> we were just talking about you. You were. Good mm. things, I hope. I hope you're being treated well, too. Yes, we've been pruned and watered. Mm. Beg your pardon? Um, oh, Cece, I'm, I'm sorry. I just couldn't help noticing that it seems the butler is gone. Philip! Huh. Philip inherited some money, decided to move back to North Carolina. We haven't had a chance to replace him yet. You know, Madeline was wondering how you've been feeling since your stroke. Oh, yes. Yes, we were all very worried. You were? Hmm. Worried enough to pay me a little visit, were you? Oh, oh, CC, uh, we would have visited, but then we were off in Yes, Hong Kong. And, and you've recovered so well, so quickly. How do you feel? How do I look? Hmm? Look wonderful? You look... Marvelous. Thank you. Mm. Getting stronger and stronger every day, too. Be sure and tell my brother Grant that when you report in. I don't report to my father. I was just curious. Courtney, Madeline. Rosa! Hello, and welcome. Oh, it's so good to see you. Give me a hug. Oh, you look so beautiful, both of you. Thank you. Thank you. As a matter of fact, Cece, I... I must speak to you immediately. We were on our way upstairs anyway, weren't we, Maddie? Oh. Yes. <laughs> see you later? Mm-hmm. 
Cece, I need to speak to you about mm. Santana. Cruz offered to marry her to keep her from marrying Mason. Well, good. It's about time. Santana turned him down. What? Why in the world would she prefer Mason over Cruz? Because Santana feels that she knows where she stands with Mason. And with him, she feels she'd have less of a chance of being hurt. She knows what to expect from Mason, but it's not that way with Cruz. We'll see about that. Santana, I've got two hours to stop this wedding. That is exactly what I plan to do. Cool. Yeah, oh, great. That's just what a man needs to hear on, really, on a day like this. Yeah, and when the uh, minister asks you to say I do, you'll say I chew. <laughs> <laughs> I do, I chew. Yeah, I got it, Ted. Don't worry, I'm sure my antihistamine will be kicking in any minute now. <clears throat> Don't bruise the flowers. <laughs> well, I tell you, you know, everything seems to be. Move along just fine here. Yeah, seems that way. Mr. Catwell, there for a cocktail. Ah, uh, hair of the month that bit me, huh? Um, no, thanks. Well, nice going. You know, I'm, I'm getting more and more proud of you. Oh, don't start counting your chickens. This isn't exactly a noble act that I'm pulling off today. Half the reason I'm doing it is to spite Dad. I'm sure you're aware of that. All right, but what about the other half? Hmm? Now, come on, Mason. I mean, you love Brandon, aren't you... Doing this kind of for Brandon, too? Yeah, I suppose so. Ted, mm. promise me something. All right, I promise you. I don't want you making the same mistakes I've made. Same mistake a lot of people around here have been making lately. I think you know what I'm talking about. When you get married, marry somebody you're in love with. Somebody who's in love with you. The only reason to make a commitment like that, you do it for yourself, for the girl, you hear me? Yeah, well, I mean, that's what I plan to do. Listen, huh? you're the last hope for the Capwell family. The rest of us seem to have done a pretty good job of screwing up our lives. You've managed to stay pretty much untainted. Mason, don't. Listen to me. What? You know what I'm talking about, Ted. Somehow you've managed to come out of this unscathed. And I hope to God you stay that way. But when you get married, you marry for love. Only love. Yes, I, I promise you I'll do the best I can. Thanks for being my best man. Yeah. I know it's a little out of character, but... I love you, Ted. Why you asked me here, you know I've got a very hectic schedule. I can imagine. Santana Cruz proposed to you this morning and you turned him down. And what business is that of yours? Look, I know you're intent on marrying Mason. I'm sorry, Cece. Why? Why? Because Cruz isn't over your daughter and I don't think he can ever be. No, you're wrong. You are very wrong. He happens to be over Eden. You see, he went the other day to Hawaii to tell Azo about that. He's given up the fight. I know all about that trip to Hawaii and I don't believe for a moment that any romance, especially a romance as strong and alive as Cruz and Eden's, can end just because someone says so. Santana, situations change. Things happen. I'm afraid something has happened for Cruz. What are you talking about? I gather he didn't tell you, but I see no reason to keep it a secret at this point. Eden is pregnant with Kirk's baby. She's pregnant? I'm sure you can comprehend that Cruz is not the kind of man to interfere in something like this. No. That's why he came to you, because he knows it's it's over between him and Eden. It... I'm sorry, Santana. It's that simple. And you thought that would change everything? Well, it doesn't. It makes it worse. Because Cruz only came to me because Eden is pregnant. Nothing has changed. 
Eden is still Cruz's first choice. Mary is Mason's first choice. It was from Dellen, wasn't it? The money. Why can't you be honest with me? What, is this the way it's going to be from now on? He owed it to me. I finally decided I had a right to it. Well, last week you told me you hated doing that. Yeah, I did. But now I've got my book, and I'm off and running. Why do I love you so much? You know, Dylan thinks this is probably going to fail. He thinks that I'm crazy. He probably gave me the money thinking he's going to get to watch me fall flat on my face, but I'm going to prove to him that this book is a success. Mickey, please don't turn this into a competition. Come on, it, every time he throws you a challenge, you have to respond. It's not just Dylan. I want to prove to you, your family, the entire world that I can make this, make something work, that I, I want to be successful. And whatever you want to think, that's how the world measures a man. Come on now, you know it's true. No, I don't know it's true. Come on, don't you know by now that I love you for who you are? You don't have to prove a thing to me, Nick. Maybe I want to prove something to myself. And that's more important than proving anything to you, Dylan, or anybody else. All right, what if the book fails? What, is it going to be the end of your life, then? The book is not going to fail. Forget I the book. I won't let it. Forget it. It doesn't matter. Come on, let's get back to the way things were before. What way was that? It was you and me. Everything we did was for each other. Don't you remember, Nikki? Where we used to feel... Hmm? We had fun and... Come on, I just want those feelings back again. Yeah. I want to feel that way too. Just want me for my body? <laughs> no, you vain man. Mm -hmm. No, I just I want to be close to you. That's all. Also, if you're trying to prove something to me with this book, you're wasting your time. Oh, really? Really, honey, I know you're a success. You don't have to show me by bringing home a big fat paycheck. This is the success, not the the returns and the money and all that. Good. Just tell that to my publisher. You know what I'd like to do right now, this mm -hmm. very minute if I had the time? What? I'd like to take you out to the old ghost town. There's one minor problem. I can't afford the gas. <laughs> I need to trust you, Mickey. We can't let our faith in each other start to give way, you know. Everything we've ever had will just fall apart. I promise you right now, I will always trust you. And I will always trust you. We better get out of here. We have a wedding to go to. Oh, no, I don't want Yes, to. come on. You'll have no. fun, Nick. I just don't think I should leave yes. the Yes. Come with me, please. We just talked about trusting each other. Yes, but what does come that have on, to do with... Come on, then trust me. You'll have fun. Okay? <clears throat> I came as soon as I could. Good. Have you changed your mind? No, I wanted to see you so I could give you a piece of my mind. You lied to me. What? You lied to me about Hawaii and why you gave up on Eden. You gave up on Eden because you found out that she was pregnant with Kirk's child. 
Cece si, si told me that, yeah. He told me. He told me, obviously hoping that I'd come running back to you, but his little plan has backfired. How could he do that? I knew that I... there was more to it than that. It's only because you realized that the situation was hopeless that you're able to say that you gave up. Well, say whatever you want, because you love Eden. You love Eden more than you ever did. Oh, yes, I'm trying to listen to me. You're lying to yourself, and you're lying to me. Cece dumped this on me. He told me that Eden was pregnant in confidence and made me swear that I'd tell nobody else. She doesn't even know. This is the thanks I get for keeping my promise to him. Well, now, listen, if, if, if I could have told anybody, I would have told you. Cruz, it doesn't matter, because what you're saying is only reinforcing my decision to marry Mason. At least with Mason, he only tells the truth, even when it hurts. Women, don't start comparing me to Mason, because... I am a fool for trying to get close to you. I am a fool. Hey, get a hold of yourself and listen to me. Now, I it... want you to leave. I've got to get into my wedding gown right now, and I'm already late as it is. Now, get out! Yes, Sergeant Morrell. They sent the desk. You might be able to know where Inspector Castillo is. I've been trying to reach him, and there's no answer at his beach house. Well, there's no one at the station who might know where he is? Well, um, yes. No. I think that um, I'm going to surprise him instead. <laughs> Thank you, Sergeant. So long. and you look cute in your tail. Thank you, Courtney, but I think you two ladies have outdone yourselves. <laughs> What'd you do, Madeline, mug a chandelier? Thank you. But it's your maid that I'm dying to see. Good grief, Madeline. Will she be in uniform? Um, Mason, we were on our way to the bar. Which way is it? Bar, bar. Let me, I used to know where that was, but as of this morning, I've completely <laughs> forgotten. <laughs> well, don't worry, we'll find it. It's that way. Okay. So, <clears throat> tell me, Sir Groom, you starting to feel a little nervous? Yeah, and there's still no word from Santana. A kind of a foreboding feeling, Ted. I'm afraid she might not show at all. No. Don't worry about, you know, women are, they, they take forever doing, getting dressed. She's probably uh, trying on 18th set of earrings or something, I don't know. I'm going to make a phone call. Mason looks like a bundle of nerves. Well, he's supposed to look like that. And I can't wait to see you when the big day comes. with you macho man or something? You know, you were right to drag me away from those books. I'm glad I came. I needed the break. I also needed to remember something. I think I was beginning to lose track of how important it is for me to marry you. Oh, well, thank you for remembering. Mm -hmm. And I want our wedding to be at least ten times more romantic than this. Now you're talking. As a matter of fact, do you know what the most romantic thing would be? With you, there are thousands of possibilities. What are you thinking? Paris, uh -uh. somewhere by the ocean No, 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 or no, no. If we got married in the ghost town. Thank you. That's not what I had in mind. Think about it. I mean, I've been thinking about it ever since we talked about it before. I think the happiest time we've ever had together is when we were in that old town. I don't think so. I think the happiest we've ever been is right now. Sweetheart. We've been through a lot. You know it? Excuse me, Miss Catwell. Mm -hmm. You have a telephone call from a Mr. Brick Wallace. Oh, okay. Thank you. Sure. Brick, hi. What's up? Well, listen, I, I can't come down there right now. I'm real busy. No, I know I don't care what kind of disaster it... Okay. All right, all right, I'll be right there. You're not going to believe this. 
suddenly all our funds are being frozen at the casino right now. We've got all these gamblers demanding their money. Nikki, I've got to go down there and sign papers. Can't somebody else take charge of this? Isn't uh, Kirk supposed to be heading that kind of stuff up now? Brick said he tried to reach him and he couldn't and he can't wait. I have got to go. But now? Yes, I'll be back in time for the wedding, I promise. I don't want you to go out there. I don't have to deal with Dylan, okay? Brick called me. All right, fine. I'll go with no. you. No! What did we just talk about? This is a chance to put that newly declared trust of ours to the test. And start now, okay? Trust me. All right, I will. You hurry back. I will. Mason, don't start without me. I'll be right back, okay? Uh, don't worry. Can't start anything without the bride. Come on, Santana. Answer. Yes, Rose. I know what it is that's bothering you. You should be there at this wedding. And do what? Play the part of the approving father? No, Rose, I should not be there. I will not add one more level of sham to a marriage that already is a mockery. You're angry, disappointed. So am I, Cece. But I should be there, too. No matter how much we may disagree with what our children want to do, we can't desert them at this important time. You forget. Mason is not a child of mine. I have disowned him completely. He can do what he wants, and what he wants to do does not concern me. All right, Rosa. All right, what is it? I can see that look on your face. What is it? I just can't help thinking. You've disowned your son, you've divorced your wife, but I know that you still love them both. So feeding Mason really, Rosa, please. I know that you love them, Cece. Deep in your heart, the love is there, and I wish... You wish what? I wish that you could reach down and find that love. Yes, find that compassion, Cece, and bring it up. Allow your true feelings to come to the surface. If only you could, you would be so much happier a man. What are you waiting for? We have a wedding to go to. Come on. Quite a day, huh, Ted? How's uh, Big Brother holding up? Oh, oh, he's fine. Just fine. <sighs> yeah, it is a gorgeous day. Mm -hmm. you can see all the way out to the oil rig, to the casino. <sighs> I <clears throat> thought uh, we were going to be late, but they seem to be running a little bit behind. Yes, it's uh, noon already. So, Brandon, what do you think of all this excitement? It's okay. Oh, there you go. You really like Mason, don't you? Yeah, I like him a lot. You too. Well, well. What a pleasant surprise. Welcome, Rosa. Mason. Now, don't tell me. I know we've met. I know that face, but I can't place a name. Don't push it, Mason. Is Santana here yet? Well, I'm sure her arrival is imminent. 
I tell you what, why don't you all just go ahead and go inside? I'll be with, we'll both be with you shortly. Oh, so, Mason, what's up? Uh, if I had an answer for that, Ted, I'd feel a whole lot better. I, uh, I think we should be getting started, don't you? Absolutely, Reverend. But it'll be a whole lot easier to get started once the bride shows up. If she shows up. Hey, lady, slow down a minute. Get out of my way. I'm late, Bruce. You've been crying. I haven't been crying. You look lovely. Listen, uh, I've been thinking, and uh, if you don't want to marry me, I mean, I can understand that. I guess. I but it doesn't mean that you have to marry Mason. I am not listening to you. There must be a hundred thousand ways to get Brandon back short of doing that. If we put our heads together, we could think of one of them. I'm sure. I don't want to hear this. I think you need to hear it. What do you expect me to do? I'm going to stand here and watch while you throw your life away? Is that it? Well, I can't take this. Wait. This isn't even the right floor. I need this. 